Infrastructure as code at Nexit has actually quite a long history, back in 2018. We ended up evaluating AWS Cloud Development Kit. So it's imperative infrastructure as code where we can program quite flexible things. But still, we run into a lot of problems because AWS CDK is backed by AWS CloudFormation. And AWS CloudFormation has a few very important drawbacks. In AWS CloudFormation, the state of your stacks, it's basically not under your control. You cannot easily export, modify and import a broken state. If a stack is in a broken state, you usually have to delete it. Yeah. This is very actually more or less by accident, stumbled over Pulumi when it was still very young and fresh on the market. We immediately realized it has actually all the advantages of CDK. It's imperative. It supports TypeScript, which is a strongly typed language. I still remember the first day where I stumbled over the website, installed it, run it. It was quite straightforward, actually, especially with a background in CDK. I will recommend using Plumi for everybody who starts on a greenfield approach with infrastructure as code, because I'm quite sure and confident to be able to say that it is the most powerful and versatile tool out there. You will run into limits with Terraform. You will run into limits with CDK, mostly because it's based on cloud formation. Your biggest chances to not run into troubles and limitations is to use Plumi.